It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's time to review another bottle of beer that's been brewed in the UK and a bottle of beer that's been brewed this time in France. So what am I talking about? Well, Cronenberg, Cronenberg 1664. I picked up this large bottle, 660 milliliter, cost me £1.79 in home bargains. Interestingly, when you go to buy Cronenberg in places like Asda and Morrison's, they, they're like £2.20 for this 660 milliliter. So if you're looking for a UK Cronenberg, home bargains, £1.79. This uh, big bottle has been brewed in the UK. Uh, brewed with a unique... Uh, brewed in the UK under agreement with Brasserie Cronenberg. There we go. So 660 milliliter. There's the bottle cap. And then the wonderful Rob. The wonderful Rob went to France on holiday and he picked up a bottle of Cronenberg 1664 that's been produced in France. This one's 5.5% ABV. And this one is 5% ABV. So there's a difference. Again, if you've seen my Stella Artois video, um, if you've seen my San Miguel video, both beers, both of the UK beers are lower in ABV than their Belgium, Spanish and now French counterparts. 5.5% versus 5% for the British stuff. So without further ado then, I feel like I'm gassing on a, bit, a little bit with this. Um, let's get the British one out first and foremost. If I could have found a smaller bottle of Cronenberg, I would have bought a smaller bottle of Cronenberg. But it's all I could kind of get my hands on really. So there's a look at the beer. Uh, we got a three finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's clear and it's very light amber in colour. In a Hofmeister glass. More beer company glass for the French Cronenberg. Here we go. It's a 25 centiliter bottle as well. I contemplated using a smaller glass, but I wanted to offer some kind of fairness, if you like. Wow. Completely different. Even the aroma, the, the opening, the aroma from a distance, completely different so far anyway. Right, French Cronenberg. Malty, biscuity, hoppy, spicy, peppery. Smells quite nice. British brewed Cronenberg. Wow. Little bit syrupy. Little bit sweet and syrupy. And that's about it. That's about it. There's no huge amount of hop profile coming through. There's none of that spicy pepperiness you're getting from the French Cronenberg. Let's, let's dive into the British Cronenberg. British brewed Cronenberg.
uh, sweet, syrupy. I've never liked British Cronenberg, to be honest. I've never really appreciated it very much. Um, it's got a horrible, nasty kind of bitterness to it on the back end. So it goes from being really sweet and cloyny to this almost intolerable, nasty bitterness that just runs right the way on the back end. And it's kind of, there's no flavour to it. There's no like pepperiness, no spiciness, no, no like stinging nettle, um, no, no real hop flavour coming through. It's just bitterness for the sake of bitterness. Okay, let's try the French brewed Cronenberg. Completely different. Completely different beer. The instantly I'm picking up malt. The moment I put that beer to my lips, I'm tasting that beer. There's lovely biscuity, malty flavours coming through. There's a pepperiness, there's a spiciness from the hops on the back end. <clears throat> you can see, look at the difference of the carbonation. Look at the small bubbles making their way to the top of the glass there. Look at that carbonation in the French brewed Cronenberg. Then have a look at the carbonation in the British brewed Cronenberg. Larger bubbles, larger carbonation. And an old brewer once told me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. Look how fine that carbonation is compared to the British brewed Cronenberg. It's completely different. It's lovely. The French Cronenberg is lovely. It really is. It's light. It's malty. It's biscuity. It's hoppy. It's spicy. It's peppery. There's some stinging nettle flavours coming through. It's a really nice lager. Again, we're in this situation where and I want to thank Rob at this stage for, he's gone to France on holiday with his family and he's decided to pick me up a bottle of French Cronenberg, French Stella, Belgium, Belgium Stella and French Sol San Miguel, San, San, San Miguel and Every single beer has been different and it's all been the French stuff that he's bought has been far superior, far superior to the British brewed beers of the same name. And I know I asked the question in the Stella review, I know I asked the question in the San Miguel review, but I'm going to ask the same question because this might go out to a slightly different audience. Why is it that we tolerate in the UK inferior beers? Why is it that we just let everything wash over us and we never seem to fight back? We never seem to go, hey, this is not good enough. This is not good enough. Why is it that it's always such a blasé attitude that us Brits have when it comes to I mean look at the French when they tried to raise the pension age they were on the streets kind of like striking and they can do in the UK uh, yeah yeah work till you drop type of thing and nobody bats an eyelid nobody nobody like I know this is I shouldn't be talking politics, but I'm just using one example here. It's just a, like, oh, whatever attitude, or blasé, whatever. 
you know, take every day as it comes. It's okay. It's all right to be okay. Whereas, I think this is the whole point here, is, is that the French wouldn't put up with poorly brewed Stella Artois. The French wouldn't put up with poorly brewed Saint Miguel. And the French certainly wouldn't put up with poorly brewed Cronenberg, 1664. That's a lovely beer. But we do. We just put up with stuff and it's... Ugh, I find it baffling. Nasty, 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 nasty British brewed Cronenberg. I'm going to rate it. British Brew Cronenberg, 4 out of 10. French Brew Cronenberg, half a percentage higher. Nice malty lager. Fantastic tasting lager. Nice and hoppy and biscuity and bready and spicy and peppery. Some stinging nettle flavours. It's pretty good, that. It's pretty good, that. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for French brewed Cronenberg, compared to 4 out of 10 for the British brewed stuff. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.